and more power. I nearly got blind. <laughs> Alright. Bang! Dang! Oh my god! Ah! Oh man! Man, it really works! Yeah! Recording? I never show my face! <laughs> Recording! Yeah! Peter, man! Ah! Oh, look how many batteries, man! So much power, man! <laughs> so, here with Peter, we're doing a video. Today, showing all this stuff, we're testing the Sumco Spot Welders here, man! Oh, so much power, man! You see, man! So, we actually got my fluke measured in rush current. Very interesting. So, you can actually see for a split of a second how much current you're actually sucking from your wall, from your mains, from your nickel strips! Wow, this little thing here! Yeah. Alright, so we're here to talk about the spot welding, the Sunco 709. But the one that I used to use was 709A. This is D, there's a A+, D+, and then he's got this one from Banggood. This is the entry level, right? Alright, it shows how to use this. So the way I use, the way I see this thing, Okay, forget about the current, uh, increase the heat and all this stuff. So the way I see the spot welder, this makes it stick and this increase the time, increase the heat. Okay, so this is the way I see when I use the spot welder. Okay, in theory, uh, in theory, in theory, in theory, <laughs> current increase the heat, right? <laughs> okay, oh, this is dangerous. Wait a minute, wait a minute, we got some tools. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, oh, it's open already. Uh, ideally, don't let them touch. Sometimes this thing crack. But don't let them touch, otherwise the current is not going anywhere. I think someone said you put some um, uh, heat shrink tape. over it or something. Yeah. You can put captain tape. Captain tape is super small, but yeah. Okay, right. So you still, yeah, you see there's a little gap here, right? Yep. So you, you can't let them touch, otherwise the current is just... Psh, so those are the experiments you did in the last video, right? This is a bit of explosion here, right? <laughs> See, there's a bit of a hole here. So what happened is, so you actually penetrate to the next layer. Lithium reacts with the moisture present in the air. So, yeah, H2O, you know, like, <laughs> so there's water so, particles so in, in it, air. It practically rusts. Yeah, exactly. So what happened is, so now you're having, so when they make the batteries, so it's like a zero moisture environment. Otherwise, lithium just reacts. So it's just a slowly, slowly, slowly rea reacting to this. So, so what happens is, so you just see like this is going to be discharging the battery. It's going to be, it's basically corroding the battery inside, right? Just so right it's just here. oxidating, corroding, whatever you want to say. Well, yeah. So what was the voltage you had here before? It was 4.2 volts when we did it. It should, it should be dropping. It should be dropping. So it should be lower than 4.2 now. 4.08. So she's dropped a little bit, point, yeah, yeah. point one two of a volt. If you keep on watching, this is going to discharge a lot faster than a, a regular. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Leave te thing. teach me how to avoid that. Well, how to avoid that, I would say... Let's get a scissors. Uh, snippy. Snippy, snippy, where are you? Snippy. Snippy. Snippy, snippy will do. Snippy. All right, let's get a nice, beautiful cell with the flat bottom here. So you can't have anything sticky. Uh... Let me see. Oh, we got some cells here, right? Let's start. Okay, this one's looking pretty now. This one? Yep. This is very flat. You can also bang the cell here. Right, so see this little cut? So the little cut is actually to help. So when the, so the current is gonna flow between A to B, right? So between this and this side here. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have this cut, the current is just going to flow directly over the surface. Okay, cool. So it's not going to penetrate in the cell. Like it's possible to do this, but you need to in, like increase the current, increase the power. And that stops blowing the hole through it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we try to make some like really thick copper uh, like layer on top of everything. But the copper is super, super, super conductive. So the current was just flowing directly, directly through the copper never penetrating and then you increase the power and the copper just blows go it's like a soft metal so it's just okay. like a, you cannot do copper so that's why you don't see just massive big copper you don't see copper top. you don't yeah. see copper it doesn't work okay. so in everything that's super conductive it's just going to conduct here and never going to penetrate maybe if you you know that it, it might be possible in some scenarios but yeah let's just see here cool so apply pressure evenly 
And oops, oops. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna explode, man. <laughs> All right, what yeah. I'll do, I will start with four. Okay, because I know two is uh, it's not enough. Let's see here. You might get a bit of spark here. It's it might be normal. Okay. Yeah. So just try to remove this thing. You can go to six depending on the case. Okay, if you're putting like two layers, it's pretty strong for like. So this is what makes it really stick. Show so you here quickly. I always try to keep this thing as high as possible. And then here, you start with four. If four is good enough, good. If you want to risk a little bit, go six, drop a little bit, just to be safe. And kind of dial as, it depends on the thickness of your tabs. This is 0 0.09 millimeters thick, okay? This particular one. But this one, what is, uh, do you remember the thickness of this? Uh, 0 0.15 of a millimeter. Hmm, yeah. And they feel different. Maybe that's pure nickel and maybe this is fake, not mm. so good nickel. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. Notice that there's no discoloration yet. Yep. So it looks like nickel. It still looks like nickel. Whereas these ones? It look black, look darker. Can you see it like a burn? Is burn that... mark. Look, if you go really, 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 really high, you might have something like this because... And then you get to the point that you're actually melting this thing. If you put on number eight, if you put the settings all the way up to the, like here, so you're gonna notice that when you okay, so you go bang. When you release this thing, it's gonna be super hot, super hot. And it was also sticking. Yeah, too. you might see some copper left there. No, no here. I think it was. Oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see, there's some pieces of copper here. Yeah. Because you actually melt it. It's got so hot, so hot. They're actually leaving pieces of copper here. So it's just, it's you can't keep on doing this. You're gonna go through this. The bits here, like, and you know, it's crazy. No time flat. You, yeah. you, you cannot do this. Okay. Plus, you notice that this thing gets super, super hot. This is plastic. It is, you know, like it's just getting hot inside the plastic sleeve. So, professional spot welder, the one we use at work, yeah. it's really, really, really thick. Like, maybe like this thick. It's like a zero gauge or some oh, stupid, wow. like, monster cable. And it's uh, like, um, it's a mesh. And it's more like a fabric mesh, so you can breathe. So this dissipates the heat. Yeah, it dissipates yeah. the heat. So there's nothing trapping the heat inside, and the connectors are like copper lugs, like the ones you use for the power wall here, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's like this, yep. bigger, even bigger, because it's like a zero gauge. It's monster. So yeah, they're a bit different. One thing I want to measure here, I want to measure the current. Right? It's when you do the spot welding here. You want to measure the current? Yeah, right. So here we're looking. So this is a extension cord. I just cut the insulation here. So this is the high potential. Let's just measure here. Uh, 240. Right. So this is. So we've got a function here called in rush function. So we're gonna measure here. Uh, if you just have a regular multimeter, you can't really see the current. So this is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you here. Let's see the current. 1.5 amp. No, 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 no. Hang on. If you're going in rush, should be a lot more. 14 amps. Wow. See? So this is why I bought this clamp meter. You can measure it for a fraction of a second and records it. Let's increase one more here. Let's do it again. It should be more. 22 amps. Wow. What's your circuit breaker? 10 amp. Yeah. Yeah. So, but this is for fraction of a second. So, if this one was four, 14? Yeah. 22, this should be, I don't know, 30, at least 30. But I don't know. This, Cause, this, cause that do you want to try? I don't know. Let's try it. Right now, we've got Plus, it set to okay. maximum. Yeah. Maximum, everything cranked up all the way to the maximum. This is a positive end. If it was a negative, it might blow a hole. Okay, in rush, close your eyes. Three, yep. two, one. 26. 20, yeah, 26. So can we do it on this one as well? Because yeah. this one actually uh, makes the lights dim and that one doesn't. Okay, so turn this thing off. Have you noticed when you pull those cables out, feel how hard it is to pull them out? Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. Yeah, there's nothing to it, is it? What? Okay. 
We can. I didn't think that was. I didn't think that was wonderful either. No, no, no. All right. So let's go here. Let's measure the inrush current. So that's on 99 and two pulse. I, that's the two pulses. The biggest it's got. We want to swap sides. Swap sides. Swap sides. Alrighty, we do a dance. Da -da 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 -da. How'd you use this one? Yeah, I, I, I never use the cheap one. I mean the settings. That's that's it. That's maxed 99. out. 99. Is that that's maxed current? out? Okay. That's maxed out. And this is the maximum pulse. Pulse. Yep. Maximum. Yeah. Two. 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 It doesn't make sense at all, eh? Oh, it is, I did get the cheapest one, in all fairness. Okay, you ready? Okay. Three, two, two one. Okay. What? Well, it showed 35. That went to 35. Without the inrush. Okay, so now it's inrush. Okay, go. <laughs> exactly how much power is that? <laughs> this is going to be very inefficient. So why is that it's so weaker. high? Okay, there's a lot of light flickering. And it's weaker welding compared to the upper model. Is that right? It's uh, it's consuming more power and doing less work. Less work. Yeah. Take it apart. <laughs> <laughs> you watch this video too. Yeah. Ooh, warranty void if you up. <laughs> Radio. The warranty's gone now. There's no warranty. <laughs> Hey, oh, okay. hey Bruno. Okay. Oh, this this one's not even mine. Uh, let's open this one. Let's Wait a minute. No, no. Really, really. <laughs> this 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 one's not even mine. Oh my god. Let's let's open both of them. Yeah. Look, yeah, yeah. It hasn't got a warranty seal. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> let's good. let's let's plug the person that sent us that one, and that one was Rowan. Look. look uh, we. I'm expecting a very simple transformer inside. I'm not expecting to see super capacitor bank or anything like this. Uh, right, so maybe. <laughs> Disaster! People comment on my video say that I'm Zed from Police Academy. Yeah. Ah, nice bike! <laughs> <laughs> We're getting all the professional angles here. Yeah, yeah. A professional filmmaker! Uh, I don't know where the screws are going, man. So I'm just... Last one, Jada! I think there's one on the top. Oh, yeah, Two on the top. Two. Oh, it's well made. Oh, yeah. You might have to put it together because I have to go back in the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, so what we got here? So, very simple, big transformer, and that's it. So, it's just converting 240 to very low voltage. High current. Hang on, hang on. Watch this thing. This is metal and this is PVC, right? Okay. I would say this thing shouldn't touch here because eventually, you know, yeah, rubbing, right. rubbing. Look. Mm. Yeah, so that should all be zip tied up. Yeah. That's a, that's a point of here. weakness. It's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But again, let's stress okay, it. It is the cheapest on the market. It's, it is the cheapest. I got what I paid for. We can't measure the voltage here. Let's pull that one apart and have a look. Yeah, have a look. Have a look. Put them in you side already, by you side. You already voided the warranty, Ooh, right? I'll... But so, this one's a kilo heavier too. Really? Yeah. Interesting. The other one's got so much current and... Maybe but my, oh, the, the 709, it flicks the light as well. Yeah. It does. But this but, uh, one doesn't at all. There's zero flickering. Okay. Here in your house, you, you don't get, but some people do. Yeah. Oh. In my channel, I got some people commenting, saying that we in Australia, we use a 240 volts 
and it's good. It does the job, right? It's not the most amazing spot welder compared to the professional ones that I use yeah. at work. But uh, yeah, they, 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 they do a good job. Some people are thinking US, and not sure about Canada. They say the 110 volts version wasn't the best one for some reason. Don't know. Anything else? There we go. <laughs> ah, that's got a fan in it. I didn't realize that. My one doesn't. The difference between the A and AD. So this one's got a fan and it's got something else. My one has a... Oh yeah. The soldering iron function. My one had a horrible noise. Whatever. It was super hot. It goes up to 500 degrees. I think Nerdville had the same problem with his. <laughs> look, look the difference. Okay, so just... Do you see any difference? Transformer size. We got some fancy tools, look. <laughs> it's broken. It doesn't work. Man. Oh, it's missing the battery. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, we can still tell. Yeah. All right, so this is... How do you measure this now? Oh, we've got to go around this way so we can not yeah. upside down. It's 63? Almost, almost like a 10 millimeter. Yeah, but like you see the difference. It's a lot. Just put side to side here. Better cooling system, which is important. When you do the pack, here we're just doing one cell, two cells, testing, stopping. But when you go here, like when you when you do the whole pack, when you start spot welding and you go through like bang, 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 and you're not gonna stop, you're gonna go all the way here. At least two welds, three welds per cell. Doom, 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 doom. And then of this you're gonna go like 20 times or something like that. And then you're gonna go to the next one. And it go, 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 go. So it's like a good 10 minutes non stop, I would say. Yeah. You know? So they get so nice and hot. They get hot, they get hot. So, so that fan's gonna be a big benefit. Yeah, yeah. The fan is like, you, you're gonna have a fan. Or some people, they actually open and just use like this. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, yeah. like it's cooling. Better than just having this thing baking here. And this is the only ventilation you actually get. Well, that's yeah. the ventilation. The other one, oh, yeah, the other one's got ventilation as well. Yeah, but it doesn't do much because yeah. you need, you know. Okay, the air is going to raise and yeah, but... Uh, it's not enough. No, no, no. Right, so now we're going to measure the most important thing, which is actually the current going here. When I, when I actually spot welding. Because the current you were measuring before, it's just a, like the current you got getting from the wall. You know, like from the, you know, to 240. It doesn't really matter. It's just exciting to see how much the current goes here. This is the important welding current. So what we're doing, just show. Show. So it goes here, and it's actually, oh no, we actually got it wrong, because this is going to go here. <laughs> this is a different welder, right? So we're going to measure it right there. Cool. So, let's see, I'm going to max out. Three, two, oh, hang on, in rush. Again, let's see the current. Three, two, one. What was that? 691 amps! <laughs> 672. It would be super low voltage. Super low voltage. Super low voltage. That's crazy. Okay, well, let's try the um the other bang good one. Okay, so turn this one off, disconnect. Alrighty, I'm gonna go here in rush function. Okay, oh. alrighty, here we go. Three, two, one. What? 220 amps. What the hell? Do the one 600? Hang on, put your okay. So, what you, you click there, I'm just gonna hold this thing down, click again. Okay. Oh, uh, hang on. Okay, three, two, one. No way. 250. Is this the... That's it. Can't be, man. Really? That's it. That's that's maxed out. Uh, whatever. Yeah. 248 amps. <laughs> and there's almost 600. Wow, what a difference. Oh, that's a huge difference. Monster difference. Well, that 
Yeah, it's a conclusion thing. Right, it's, like it's a, it's a conclusion. That's better, and that's not as good. Yeah, six hundred versus two hundred something. I think I need to continue to test that. Yeah, yeah. And build packs and see how it goes. Does the job. It does yeah. the job, but it's just wow. That's like it almost, it's, almost it's, three times. Almost three times. So much power, so little power. So much power in this one. Yeah, it I does just, the job. Oh. There's lots of power. Yes. Te teach me how to do the power thing. Oh, oh, the, so power. the power, the power, the power. Wait a minute, okay. I've got girly arms with soft hands. Oh, you got nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, let's touch this thing. I gotta go like the shark here. Yeah. Oh, so much power, man. Yeah. yeah thank you. <laughs> I cut my finger. Oh, do you want a band aid? Oh, yeah. Nice, daddy.